This is uh, an explanation of the surefire method of factoring a quadratic expression. So I have here a quadratic expression um, written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'll add ax squared plus bx plus c. And what I want to need to do to start this uh, surefire method is I multiply my a, which is 21, times my c, which is 32. And that equals 672. And what I need to do is I need to find two factors of 672 that when added together are going to equal 52, my b. Well, generally speaking, I will start with 2 or 4 or 3. I'll start with a low number just to kind of see where it, where it takes me. So uh, I'll use my calculator, which you can't see, but you, you know how to do addition and multiplication on a calculator. So let's start with 2. So 672 divided by 2, well, that equals 336. And obviously, the sum of those two isn't going to get me anywhere as near uh, 52. So I'll, I'll bump it up a chunk, and I'll go, I'll divide it by 8. So I divide 672 divided by 8, and that gets me to 84. Again, I'm still a ways away, because 8 plus 84 is, you know, 92, so that's not going to do me a lot of good. Um, but, you know, as I'm looking at this, I notice in my original two factors of 21 and 32, if I was to add them together, that equals 53, which is pretty darn close to the 52 that I'm trying to reach. So maybe I need to bump up my, uh, my, my guesses here a little bit. So let's try, uh, let's try 22 and see what, what happens there. So if I go 672 divided by 22, well, that's going to equal 30.54, and that, that's, that's not a factor. So let's try 24. 672 divided by 24. Ah, bingo, 28. 24 plus 28 is 52. So I have found my two factors that I need. That's really good. It's a lot faster than just drawing parentheses and trying to guess um, what all these numbers would be equal to. So I have my two factors, and I'm going to rewrite my quadratic expression as 21x squared plus 24x plus 28x plus 32. And all I've done here is taken my 52, and I've turned it into 24x, and 28x. So it's a perfectly legitimate thing to do. 24x plus 28x is 52x. I haven't changed the meaning of the expression a bit. Now, though, I'm going to group. I'm going to group my first two terms and my last two terms. And I'm looking at my first two terms, and it looks to me like I can probably pull a 3 out of those, a 3x, to simplify it a little bit. So I'm going to pull out 3x. And that is going to leave me with 7x plus 8. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go over to my second term, my second binomial there, grouping. And I think I will pull out, I will pull out a 4. And that leaves me, believe it or not, with 7x plus 8. Well now, I can employ what I call the reverse distributive property, because I have 7x plus 8 in both parts of my uh, expression here. So I'm going to go 7x plus 8, pull that out, and that leaves me with 3x plus 4. Bingo! My, uh, my quadratic expression up here has now been fully factored into that. And that's how you do it.